Hey guys, how's it going? DUJ2 here and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. It is time. It is time to do that which I have been dreading to do. And to be perfectly honest, guys, I have really been dreading this. I have not been wanting to do this. Um, this is something that I've actually been avoiding doing for, um, for quite some time now. Just because... Okay. I'm afraid because this is RNG based and this is not just RNG based. This is RNG on top of RNG. This is the paralysis of RNG in the game. And we're talking about traits. So the first thing I want to show is this. Okay. So this, I, I took a screenshot of this earlier uh, because when you put a metal into another metal, it shows and it says, Hey, this is traits, you know? Uh, so you fuse two of the same metal and unlock random traits um okay so we unlock random traits so what are these traits well let's go take a look if you go to the notices uh let me open up over here too uh if we go to the notices and we do awaken your metal traits right here uh there's all the information and i know that i said we were going to go through this in a little bit more in depth but i'm going to just gloss over this Basically, you put a metal into another metal. It has to be the same metal, the same type of metal, and the same stars. And you will roll trait on it. When you click down here on this little thing, it'll show you how many you can put in there. And it'll also show you what you got if you already did it. You can also re-roll the old trait. This is going to be interesting because um, I need to know how to do this part. But these are the traits we can get. And we can get max gauges plus two, which increases your Keyblade maximum special attack gauge value. Max HP plus 800, which increases the player's maximum HP value. Poison resist 20%, paralysis resist 20%, sleep resist 20%. Those are pretty self-explanatory. Ground enemy defense minus 20% and aerial enemy defense minus 20%. That means that if your enemy is an air enemy, it's got 20% uh, less um, defense. Now, the question is, does this also count against raid bosses if you know out there please let me know and this is the important thing do you see how it's split up into two different setup sections so we've got this section and this section this top section affects all metals equipped into your keyblade okay this section affects only that metal so if you get this ground enemy defense negative 20 percent it's only for that particular metal you're going to use that would have been cool if it would have been for your entire keyblade but whatever um, damage and raids plus 40%. Wow. Extra attack 40% power. We're going to come back to that one. Strength 1000 and defense 2000. Now, um, for your metals that are premium metals, tier 4 and tier 5, they will have two slots. So, and I asked about this, you can have a metal that will have 1000 strength and 1000 strength bringing it to 2000 strength which means can we also have one that will have 4000 defense i don't know let me know and does the defense the 20 percent defense also stack twice and does the extra uh, does the damage and raids also stack please let me know but these these are questions i don't know but don't, i don't know the answer uh but i'm sure you guys have already done your traits you know Please let me know if the thing, the ones down there affect because the only one that does not trigger twice that I know for sure is enemy attack 40% power. Now, you'd think that's like, okay, so you can hit 40% harder? No. It means that it allows you to use a metal a second time, but the second time you are only going to hit at 40% of the power of the metal. So let's say I hit 1,000 the first time. The second time, I'm only going to hit 400. That's how I understand. Okay? I think that's how I understand. Okay. Uh, oh, they say that's why I should read a notice. Someone's saying in the notice that they, they do stack. Except, oh, there it is. If you have multiple metals, the same traits in your loadout, the effects will stack. No, well, I mean, I don't mean multiple metals. I mean on the same metal. Will the same metal stack twice? You know what I mean? For example, let me show you what I mean. So if we go here to a premium metal, uh, oh, here we go. This is a perfect premium metal right here. So she has two slots. If you have ground of enemy defense twice on here, will that stack and make it 40%? Uh, damage and raids, will it be 80%? That's kind of what I'm wondering. So if anyone out there can let me know that, that would be fantastic. Uh, so let us begin. 
And this is what we're going to do. I have made a list of metals that I am going to roll trade on in this video. I am not, this is not going to be a gigantic trade rolling video. And we're going to go all the way to the top. This is not going to be a humongous trade rolling video that we're going to do all of these. Cause can you imagine how long that would be? And I know the last really giant guilting video that I did, a lot of people were saying, uh, you should have split it up into three different categories per each, you know, power, speed and magic. So I'm probably going to do that next time for the next trade one. I'm also, there will be another trade video coming out actually maybe where I will do uh, another set of specific metals. Um, but you guys are going to see a lot of metals here. For example, Popijin pointed out um, that I have Master Ericus. And I could um, not only roll trait on Master Ericus, but I could also guilt him. For metals like this, I am not going to do this yet. The reason why is because I know my RNG. I am going to wait for a boosted guilting campaign to roll new metals. Which brings me to the last point. I wonder... If there is going to be a higher chance of rolling certain traits during certain events in the future if this is the case I'm going to feel pretty foolish um, if I haven't waited but you know what I was gonna say favor uh, chance favors the bold but we all know that that is not my case but we are gonna start and we are starting at the very top with Illustrator Bellum Beast. So the reason why this is the very first one I'm doing it, the reason why these are the very first I'm doing at the very top is because I would like, two different ones. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this one at the very, very top is because I would like, I've seen everyone get really great roles like in their first couple of ones. So I'm hoping that this will also work for me and I will get decent roles here so without further ado let us begin okay so we're gonna find one that doesn't have anything on it first all right unlock you okay so something else i want to show and i'll show i think i show i no i haven't showed this yet but see up here where it's got the little orbs if you put it in it says trait okay so that's how you know and I, i'm gonna i'm gonna show this later at the very, very end maybe um how uh be very careful not to put like a five star into a six star or a one star into a uh into a five star like i explained before it has to be the same metal and the same stars also be very careful you are gonna lose any sids any chips and nails and potentially any skills that you may have on other metals so if for example if i was going to use one of these metals over here to put in here i definitely need to overwrite skill because i want to keep sp attack h2s but i'm so nervous guys i am so nervous all right okay let's do this That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. I am actually very happy with that. That is going to make this buffing metal much stronger. So I don't know. Uh, and this is something else too, guys. I'm going to be looking over right now at the chat to tell me if these are good. Uh, because I don't know. I don't know what's good. I think this is good. I think this is very good for a buffing metal. Um Remember, this is a tier five metal, so I can put two on it. So the question is, could I have 4,000? Could I have 4,000 defense on one? Okay. I, I don't really think I want that. I don't want that. I wonder if I could have 4,000. Okay, so this is going to be my first test into seeing what happens and how I select one. I have to figure... Okay, so we're going to have to see here how I select which one to keep.
Okay, so, okay, so I want to keep defense. Is there a way of locking it? Okay, so this one, right? Okay, so I want, I want to go this one, right? You want to have the red bar over the one you want to, you want to, you want to override, right? I want to test this. I want to test this. I want to make sure that I'm doing it right. So I want to pick sleep resist to get rid of. Okay. Red bar will override. Sleep. Oh, that's nice. That's nice that it does. Okay. All right. So that's okay. That's good. Okay. Okay. Next. This one doesn't have anything. Nothing. Oh, no, it's the wrong one. It's the wrong one. I thought it was the right one. No. Okay. All right. <sighs> damage and raids is does what? What does damage and raids do? Oh, I want extra attack power. No. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> okay. Okay. <sighs> I prefer to have that, though, still. Okay. Ah. Uh. All right, come on, come on, come on. All right, who's next? You? You have seven, though. What do you got? You got ten. You got ten. All right. Oh, I'm down to three. I'm down to three. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, okay. So see, seven sids are going away here. Seven sids are going away here. Oh. No! No! Ah! Oh. See, now I have to come up. Now I have to make a decision. Am I going to roll? guilt on this metal or not do i wait for a boosted for a boosted guilting campaign and who do i lose paralysis or poison probably poison it's gotta be poison i'm not gonna guilt i'm not gonna guilt right now this is very disappointing. I am. I, I, this is very disappointing, guys. Okay, um, next medal that we're gonna do. Uh, I'm. 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 I'm disappointed. I'm very, very disappointed. But oh, I'm so disappointed actually. <sighs> okay. All right. Uh, next one we're gonna do is illustrate Kyrie. Yeah. I'm doing all of these I'm I'm doing all of these boosting medals first in the hopes that I'm going to get one of them that's going to have that That's not bad. Max HP 800 is not bad. That is not bad at all. Uh that just this just means that I'm going to have to run a double boosting one. And I have one more try, Sebastian. Sebastian is my last chance here. Uh the the sad part is I am going to be losing an SP attack gauge one here. Um, oh, man. This is incredibly difficult, guys. I mean, I was really hoping. I mean, now my only hope is that I can eventually pull more Illustrated Kyries. And one day, one day, one of them will get that. Also, I have heard that there is such a thing as specific metals that will give you um, 
that will give you a chance to roll trait. <sighs> Should I spend the SP1 and hope that Sebastian gets it? I think I have another SP1 somewhere. And I'm not using this one anyway. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate because my hopes were... My hope was to eventually use this Sebastian in another... In another metal that might need him. Losing SP1 for possible resist trait. No, I don't want... Re well, no. I, I, what I want is the extra power. I want the double cast. People are saying I should save the SP1. All right, people are saying not to lose the SP1. I am going to. I am not going to lose the SP1. All right, we won't lose the SP1. Um, that button guy. The button guy must just be rolling right around right now, laughing, 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 laughing so much. Six times, guys. Six times. All right. It's okay. Moving on. Next one we are going to work on is Illustrated Ansem. Now, Illustrated Ansem is very cool and very awesome. Another medal that I am really, really, really hoping that I can get this, uh, this skill on. So, let's hope and pray. But not skill. It's not a skill. Trait. Trait. My RNG is just not there, is it? <sighs> okay, um, I don't know if I want to keep doing this, these then. I don't know if I want to keep doing, doing these because this has been really bad so far. This has been like really well. I guess I could do Winnie the Pooh. Oh, he's at he does two for one turn. Um, I'm trying to do the tier four ones first. Cause see, next up is Squall. Um, what did I do to my RNG? I don't have RNG. You guys have seen that. That's why um, you guys have seen I have pulled a lot and I have gotten really bad stuff. RNG is not with me. Okay, see, okay. The question is... Do I use, do I do the score one or do I wait? Because it could very well be that next month we're going to get a, I mean, we got boosted guilting campaigns. So why not get boosted trait campaigns, right? I have it on my list. Let's do it. <sighs> He's got two in him. Oh, I can't believe I combined three of them. Yeah, I should have got... I should have got uh, Rolf. I should have gotten my plushie. I should have gotten my lucky Sumsum. Well, I mean, sometimes he works, sometimes he doesn't. <sighs> All right. Did I get the same trait twice on... I didn't get the same trait twice. Have I gotten the same trait twice? You've got nothing in you. I don't use you either, so all right. 
At least I got the 2,000 defense on... on Hmm. All right. In for a pound, in for a penny, I guess. All right, we're going to keep going. We're going to keep doing. We're, we're going to do everything I have on my list here. Oh, yeah, HDBs. No, I can't do HDBs because we're not in a guilting campaign, unfortunately. If I had kept one separate, I would put them in here, but I can't. Okay, next one. Uh, we're going along. The next one we're going to do is another one that I'm really, really hoping that gets some really something really good is Young King Mickey. The reason why I really hope that Young King Mickey gets something good is because I was able to guilt him. Uh, and Young King Mickey is pretty much identical to Zigbar B, but my Zigbar B ended up getting 75%, whereas my King Mickey got 100%. I think he got 99 or 90 something. Um, let's just do it. We're just doing it. We're just doing it. I am the resist king. Yeah, I am the resist king. So what would be good on him? What would be good on him? That's not bad, is it? Is that worth keeping? At this rate, I'm never going to sleep. Yeah. Yeah, they're trying to... Uh, yeah, Square Enix is trying to help me so I can do all these super long streams. Um, Is Max Gages too good? Okay, so... We're going to keep that. We're going to roll the other one. We're going to roll the other one. And the only thing that would be better would be the double double cast or extra thousand strength. What's better? Mm. You're right. That would be much more useful on buffering metals. What if I use them for raids? Would he be better in raids? Yeah, I think raid. I mean, if I put it, if I put like the other AB2 max uh, plus Lux on him, gauges is better, not a raid metal. Why not a raid metal? He could be a rain metal, couldn't he? Yeah, he's single target, so he'd be better as a rain metal, right? Yeah, 40% is way more than 1,000 strength. I'd have to use him only for raids, though. I, you guys can't see this. Sorry, you guys can't see this. Okay. You don't need gauge that much if you have KH2 Kyrie. True, I have her. 40% is quite a bit. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep it. Yeah, because think about it. Uh, if I'm going to be using him, using him on the raid would be really good. Yeah, I'm keeping the raid. I'm keeping raid. All right, we're keeping raid. Okay, next next is going to be... Oh, uh, so we could do Chip and Dale. Um, Chip and Dale only has one, though. What what would be a good one in Chip and Dale? I mean, why not? Let's do them. Let's do them right now. Uh, we'll just start putting. Okay, so again, because these are all five star, it will say trait. So make sure make sure it says trait. Just make sure that it says it. <clears throat> okay. Oh, double cast. Okay. So double cast is good in Chip and Dale. Or defense? Yeah. Oh, defense. Oh no no, defense would be just. Yeah, defense would be good. Do we lose it? <laughs> okay, what I'm going to do, because I'm not going to guilt this metal, I'm going to do another one. We're going to do another one. Um... <laughs> I 
I'm gonna have the most powerful Chip and Dale combo ever. Watch, watch it happen again. Watch it happen again. Watch it happen again. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Watch it happen again. Watch it happen again. <laughs> Oh, that was not bad. That was not bad. Okay, that was not bad. <sighs> okay, so one of these, one of these extra thousand strengths, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, because I don't need two of them. Or do I? No. We're gonna we're gonna stop there. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but that's fun. Uh, okay, next next continuing continue down the line. <laughs> we are going to Puglet. Okay, so Puglet is my last saving grace. Puglet is my last chance and hope for the um, double cast. That's okay. I mean, it's okay. It's okay. Um, hopefully, I'll get more Puglets in the future, uh, and it will be worth it. It will definitely be worth it in the future. Um, okay, so now we have uh, Jack and Sally. Come on down. You're the next contestants on... <sighs> I don't even know what this is. Oh, I have to roll guilt. Oh, if I do the no, no, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. No, because if I if I guilt Jack and Sally, it'd be because I would do um, uh, I would use my Fantasia Mickey Beast. How does um, what's the best for Jack and Sally? Obviously not that. Okay, so now I'm going to lose a defense boost three, which to be perfectly honest, I never use it. Um, this one has AB two plus AP PC. This is the thing, though. I'm I, I don't well. I'm gonna I'm gonna lose him anyway because I'm thinking of putting um, I'm thinking of putting a Trinity or even an AB uh, AB three plus APP. Um, do we have AB three max plus APP? We will in the future, right? No, will we? No, we won't. You know what? We've come this far. We've come this far. Let us continue. Override skill. Thank you. Forgot almost. We've come this far. Let us continue. Now we have to guilt it. No! <laughs> now I have to guilt it. Okay, that's worth a screenshot. That's worth a screenshot. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. You gave me one button, guy. You gave me one. Out of how many dozens did we do? Button, guy. Button guy, button guy. This button's for you, button guy. All right? Button guy, this button's for you. <sighs> that's going to be my official button, button guy. Uh, that's going to be my official button guy button from now on. Whenever I go to do, uh, yeah, a thousand attack would have been perfect also on this one. But this is good. This is, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. Finally got one. Finally got, yeah. The button guy was like, oh, he's not going to do it. He's not going to lose defense with three. So the button guy like sat back for a second and he's like, oh no. He's doing it. 
Now we gotta guilt Jack and Sally. Now I have to guilt Jack and Sally. And put an AB3 plus APP on it. Okay. Alright. Um, this is gonna be painful to watch. I'm sorry. Yes, I am gonna lose a second chance. Um, I use Tama a lot. And I understand, and I've been talking to some people, and I understand that, um, uh, oh, oh, right skill. I understand that a lot of people have, um, uh, I, I know that the World of Final Fantasy medals are not that relevant anymore in the game right now, but to me they are. To me they are because as you guys saw, I didn't get certain things. So I am going to have to continue playing the game a certain way. Um, I also have another second chance. So I have another second, ch I actually have two second chances. I have one second chance and one medal and uh, one that's just, you know, open up there to be able to use in the future. Um, this Tama was meant to go into another medal, but we didn't know that traits were out there. So Tama, Tama, you've been amazing to me. Please. Tama, please. Tama, please. I'm conflicted. It's not great, but it's not the worst either. It's going to help me survive some hits. I'm not bouncing with now I'm not bouncing up and down with joy, but I'm not unhappy there. It could have been one of the resists. It could have been one of the resists. It's fine. It's fine. We're good. We're good. Okay. Uh we're going to finish this video by by showing Maleficent a little love here. Um so, okay. So this is a perfect chance to show you guys this. Remember what we were saying about Maleficent's, uh, sorry, I'm not, about uh, different levels of uh, metals? So check it out. Um, if I were to put a 5-star Maleficent into a 6-star, see how nothing happens here? Check it out. Nothing. Nothing here. But if I put a 6-star in, see? Not only my rerolling uh, guilt, but it does say traits. So, for example, on one that's not guilted already, Let's say I'm going to put one into the one that's not guilted. Uh, if I go ahead and put this, see, trait. But if I go and put in a five-star one, nothing. Absolutely nothing, okay? Uh, so that's why it's very important to put into the uh, proper star one. Uh, boop. Okay, so here we go. So we're going to be rerolling trait. Uh, and I really I really want to use Maleficent. I, re I really want to use Maleficent. So um, what do you guys recommend here? I'm thinking attack strength. Double cast would be good too. Of course, the guilt. I'm thinking double cast would not be bad. Ooh, that's not bad. Double cast not good because a double cast. What would it was double cast would be only at forty percent, right? The second time, and it costs three gauges. Double cast is too cost heavy. Yeah. Should I keep this one? I should keep this one, huh? Okay, you know what? We're going to keep this one just in case. Um, let's get the five-star ones. Let's do the five-star one. Uh, sorry, the, yeah, let's do the five-star ones. Um, let's see if we can get a thousand strength on the five-star one. Because what am I going to use these ones for? No, 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 because if I'm gonna you if I'm gonna be using Maleficent B, she needs to be a powerhouse. She needs to be a cleanup. So no, I'm okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for a thousand strength on this one. Uh hopefully we get it. Hopefully we get it.
I should be trading on the boosted. Oh, you're right. I should be trading into the boosted. Oh, you're right. No, please don't. Please don't give it to me now. Please don't give it to me now. Okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, because there's no way of uh, there's no way of keeping a boost, is there? There's no way of keeping one. Okay. Uh, so, um, all right. Let's let's just make a brand new one then. We'll make a brand new one. Thank you guys. Thank you. I did make a brand new one, right? Yes. I gotta lock the other one. <sighs> lock you. How many did I end up with? I've used three so far. I think I had... I think I had like 18 or 19 of the boosted ones. Okay. There we go. Okay. All right. So... Uh, keep it. Yes. Okay. Um, so now I'm going to uh, take this one that's over here. And I'm just going to roll that one into the other one. Oh, yeah. I need to lock it. Yes. Thank you. Uh, I will lock it in a second. Uh, we're going to need you for rollings. So... Okay, back up. Uh, lock this one. Yes. Okay, so now... Okay, so lock it. Level it up. With this other one. Okay. Yes. 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 We're rolling. We're rolling guilt on the two. Hopefully the guilt is good too. Oh, I shouldn't have done this, should I? Yeah. <laughs> Which one should I keep? Okay, so this is going to be the thing now. Um, am I going to continue rolling guilt on this metal? Uh, should I continue using, trying to roll guilt and get a higher guilt? Because I could go through all 15 that I have left and get nothing. Um, I'm thinking what I'm going to do is the five stars. Take the five stars to six stars and roll them in there. You know what? Let's, we'll do that right now. We'll do it right now. Yes, yes. I do want, I want to keep this one. Um... So what I think we're going to do is... How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I'm going to keep ten. We're going to do four. We're going to do four. We're going to do four. Let's do four. Um, let's do four of them and see what happens. Wait. Yes. Okay, so let's do four. Please remind me not to override the trait. Please. <laughs> no, no, okay, skip. Uh yes. Okay. <laughs> Three more. Too bad you can't put two on these. Put in a method where you magic mirror then reroll. Really? Let's try one more time. If that doesn't work, we'll do the ma we'll do the magic mirror thing. Uh, am I doing it right? Yes. That is a beautiful amount of. Well, the reason why I don't want to save it for the guilting campaign is because A, we don't know when we're going to get another guilting campaign and B, I went up 10. Um, so we don't know when we're going to get another guilting campaign. Oh yeah, aerial defense. That's really what I want. 
Um, and I want to use her. I really want to use her. I, I want to put her in my Keyblades and start using her. Uh, because the other option is to go with my Xion, um, my boosted Xion. But I have so many of her, and I already have her at a thousand, so this would be the best way to, to do it, I, I feel. Uh, we have seven, eight, nine, ten. We need one more. We can do one more. One more. Right, we'll do one more. Last one. Last one. Last one. Last one. Okay. Doop. Doop. All right. Come on. Come on, Mel. Come on, Melby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. So, um, I'm going to have to decide if I want to reroll um, more traits, uh, more guilt on her. I am the king of resists. Uh, so I'm gonna have to decide, guys. I'm gonna have to decide if I if I want to roll more, um, if I want to do more traits on her. Uh, sorry, if I want to roll more guilt on her, because uh, what would what did this one have? This one have the S two SP gauges, right? Yeah, that's not bad actually. But I really do need to decide if I want to continue rolling and seeing if I if I want to keep this. Uh, if I want to use these up, I can. I could. I mean, what else am I going to use them for? I don't think there's anything else I'm going to use them for. And I have 12 more shots. I have 12 more chances to be able to get this one done. Unless there is a better trait, that's why I didn't continue. Uh, the reason why I didn't continue is because I want to make sure that I'm doing the right thing. If, there, if you guys have found out a better trait for Maleficent B, please let me know. And I'll go hunting for it on a new metal. Because I wouldn't mind having a couple of different ones for different situations. But thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, this this made up for a lot of it. This, uh, to be perfectly honest, this that this did make up for a lot of it. But not having a not having a boosted met a boosting metal, uh, a, a regular strength boosting metal with that double cast is going to hurt me massively. Uh, I am I'm saying it right now, guys. I'm not going to be doing Coliseum. Uh, there is no way that I'm going to be able to get to the pointing Coliseum that I want to get without having both that double cast on Illustrated Ansem and on a boosting metal. For example, um, what I was hoping to do and get it on uh, Illustrated Bell and Beast. Maybe I still have two chances. Uh, maybe in the future I can. If we get a boosted guilting campaign, then I'll roll guilt and Illustrated Bell and Beast and hopefully get that double cast. If I get that double cast on, on that metal... I am going to be competitive going forward for a while until we get medals that give us that, you know, because med th those medals will come eventually. They will come eventually. We are going to get medals that will give us six and probably even someday seven. So they're there. Plus now, if they don't take them away, we have the guaranteed, um, sure. We have the guaranteed, um, uh, what's it called? Um, we have the guaranteed um, a tier force in every single pull. Uh, so if I do pull in the future, then hopefully I can pull more of the boosting medals like Puglet or Illustrated Kyrie. Um, and hopefully those can get one day give me that double cast. Illustrated Bella Beast is a very unique medal though because it does have that um, that uh, dispel plus everything else. And with at the end of the Col this Coliseum, when we get the AB3 plus AB3 Max plus SP2. It's kind of a guaranteed thing. It's it's a it's a beaut it would become a beautiful metal. But then again, who knows what we're gonna get in the future, guys? But for right now, for my current game, because of what I've just got, I will tell you guys I am not gonna push hard in Coliseum. I don't see the point. I am going to push to be in the top ten thousand, maybe even the top thousand. There is no way I can be competitive in the top hundred with what I have right now. Uh unfortunately. So excuse me. Hopefully we do get um Hopefully we do get a boosted guilting campaign soon. Hopefully they release some sort of re-rolling traits because if they do, that would be amazing if they if they uh, if they you know some sort of a medal or something you know um, what was it that people said Donald and dust pants uh, <laughs> So if we do get something like that, it would make it wonderful to be able to do that um. So yeah, so there we go, guys. Uh, I do know that I know that I have a lot of other medals, including like you know, 
Xehanort and a lot of really strong metals uh, that here right here that I can do this on. I didn't want to continue going because this video is already long enough as it is. Um, so yeah, so we're going to have to figure out what else to do. Um, and thank you very much for watching, guys. As always, I am DUJ2, and I will definitely see you guys next time. See ya.